know about this immediately. Perennial one payment. These are coming out. These beauties are going to be popping up year after year after year. This is the first day at this price. And in this one, we started with 2800 units and we have 450 left. 450. Do you know what that means? That means we've sold through 85% of our quantity. So you're down to the last 15%. Everybody saw this and went running for it at the start of the season. All of our flowers from Cottage Farms, they ship for free. And so if purple, this beautiful lilac, if vertical looks like something that you would love, please don't wait. And Katie, both of those things I love. Purple, one of my favorite colors, the color of royalty, yes vertical as opposed to round or short or squat take it us take us you know away with what is the blue boa hummingbird mint yeah well you said it so this is a perennial plant but when we talk about perennials and annuals they have two different places in our gardens annuals bloom the entire time you have them outside that there's no chance of frost and they give it their all in one season and they don't come back perennials come back year after year but typically have a shortened bloom time well, this hummingbird mint thinks it's an annual. So that's <laughs> the cool thing about it. Don't tell it, but it will bloom. So it starts depending on where you live, late spring, early summer. And these amazing violet, like you said, like tall, really tall, long flowers will be blooming on it nonstop all the way through till the fall. So that's an, an, first of all, in your garden to have a perennial be able to do that. That's less work for you. That's two thumbs up right there for me. It's a problem solver because it's easier on you and your garden looks beautiful for those months and months and months. I love it. It has delusions of grandeur. You're like, it's a perennial <laughs> yes. that should be kind of saving its energy for year after year, but it actually acts like an annual. I, ta -da, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to give it my all every season. That's like super fun. And I love Ooh. that it comes back year after year. I mean, I have a dog and Katie, you know, uh, dogs running around in the yard and trying to garden and trying to grow. They're digging things up and you've got to have things that are hardy and strong and durable. And that's why the perennials, because I don't know, somehow she finds my annuals all the time. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I do want to show you what you're getting. You're going to get three of these. And as I mentioned, first day at this price, and 85% of you purchased it at a different price, AKA higher price. You're getting a scream and deal right now for three of these. Katie, what do I do when I get these home? So I buy these, they're going to ship to me yep. at the right time to plant, right? And then tell me what I yep. do from there. Well, first of all, if you would just give those little leaves a rub, <gasps> they have almost like a citrus scent. Yes. So we're talking in this show, we've got lots of fragrance and lots of yes. color. So when you, when you can tell that the leaves are fragrant, the flowers are too here, but that means deer resistant. So you don't need to be worried about planting this close to your house where a lot of us put our deer, you know, candy type plants. This can go out in your yard, out in your garden bed. It can also go in full sun. It yeah. loves that six hours of sun a day. It can tolerate that four hour part sun to mm -hmm. that spot as well. Otherwise, it couldn't be easier to grow any kind of soil conditions. It plays nicely with others. This is going to be one of those larger hummingbird mints. So if you're looking to take up a good amount of garden space, these get to be 36 inches tall. So three feet tall. Wow. About two feet wide. Yeah. You're getting two, four, six feet of garden space that you're covering with these three plants. So they're almost like tiny shrubs. You know, they're really doing so much hard work in your garden to cover some space to bloom. And this color is really unusual in the hummingbird mint family. So I also want to draw your attention to that. It is going to be a standout, beautiful, deep purple color in your garden that you're going to love. I love it. Distinctive color, vertical, beautiful color, deer resistant. I'm seeing a bumblebee. Does that mean it also is attracting our, our pollinator friends too? And then fragrant yes. Katie Dubow. I mean, honestly, my yes. thing, if it's a perennial and fragrant, it's like going in my cart and I'm checking out because I want yes. like not only a cacophony of color, but I want to walk through different areas of my yard and, and smell different fragrances as I go by the hummingbird mints, as I go by my lilacs, you know, as I go by my roses, I want to have like just a different level of perfume fragrance like, like notes. And Katie, I've got to give an update because as I mentioned, we started with 2,800. 
I now have fewer than 400 remaining. So we've just like pedal to the metal, zoomed through like 85% of what we have. And the 400 is what we have for the remainder of the season and that's it. So once we sell out of them, we don't have an advance order. We're not reordering them and they're here right now. And Katie, they'll ship to each area when they're supposed to be planted. You said they like part sun. So this, is, this isn't this is a place, I can't plant this in the shade, right? This is, where do you recommend? Correct. Yeah, so as, because it's such a big plant, because it's gonna take up some good, decent sized space in your garden, I would say it's the middle of your garden bed or even depending on the size of your garden bed, the back of your garden bed. You know, it really is one of those standout plants, especially because not only, you know, is the, the foliage dense here, but those flowers, they stick up nice and tall. So I would say if you have your perennial garden, if you have um, even, you know, it could even go in walkways because the way that it stands up so tall. This is not that kind of plant that flops over oh. into walkways. But Rachel, I have a little something, something here. This is the allium that we have coming up The allium up is coming up. Show. Yes. Yes. Mm. So if you're thinking about walkways and that you need to cover some space, the allium is going to be shorter. This is only about 12 inches. So if you can picture the two colors together, which they're almost identical, yes. but different textures, different flower shapes, put these in right in front of your hummingbird mint. Now you're creating layers, which is really how you design a mwah, beautiful garden is you put in different textures, yes. different flower shapes, different layers, but maybe you want, maybe purple is your color and you want that mon monochromatic look. You got to grab these two together. Those are coming up in one second. I just wanted to say, Katie, so each three piece is gonna cover six feet. So buy as many sets as you need for that coverage. If you have to cover 18 feet, then you're getting three sets. Three easy payments of 951, no reorder, shipping to you for free. Katie is gonna talk to us about the Cottage Farms um, guarantee, and then we're gonna show you that allium that's coming up in just a few minutes.